Okay, good day to those that don't know me yet. Uh, my name is Armand Truter. Um, you know, I stay in the Neisner area and I fish, I grow cannabis, you know, spend time outdoors and love being in nature, doing catch and cook videos and things like that. So, yeah, you'll definitely be seeing more of me more frequently. So today I'll be heading out to town to go make some bloodworms and sandworms and um, yeah, let's see how I can manage there. Let me go, let me show you guys um, the, the scooter I'm going with and the setups. So I'm using the Scarbra KP reel today and um, you know, just got my bloodworm pump, got my rod stand, got my rod, my buckets for the bait. So yeah, I'm on my way out now. Just gotta leave. Uh -huh. <laughs> Must up front and me now look back in the reggae rap. She what she what she wo in the reggae rap. Hey, so you see you in the reggae rap. She what she what she wo in the reggae rap. Hey, come again. But no me catch her so me now get slapped. Oh, me come from mash it in the reggae rap. Mash it and me mash it and me mash it non stop down in the reggae rap. She what she what she wo in the reggae rap. Alright, as you guys can see, I just arrived at my destination, at the spot where I'll be making the bloodworms. There's the bank right there. This is my, one of my favorite spots. And uh, always remember, if you're collecting bait here in Eisner, you have to collect your bait collecting permit at the, um, at the post office. Um, including your fishing license and the permits of all those worms and species of baits in the S3 is usually on a board right here the limits the sizes and um, all those types of things so please guys you know always look after the nature and um, you know it will reward you at the end of the day so that your children can also um, fish in this S3 Grateful Granter, White Sea and Brass, Cabo Yo, pretty much anything in this water will bite on this. Um, remember to use cotton with this one on the surf because um, the blast of his tend to bite it off quickly. It's a very soft bite in comparison with the, with the sandworm, it's much more tough. Yeah, a few years closer to the water side. Here's one. Right here. I don't know if you guys can see so well. Put the camera this side. Sometimes they're a bit easier to get up in the water. Because the water is like a lubricant. It's a bit of suction. But still, sometimes it's not so easy to get up. Sandworm. So that's how it looks for the sandworm. Sometimes. But okay, cool, that's for the sandworm then. So the sandworm comes in a different shape of a house. 
It's like a little nipple almost that's on the surface of the sand. And when you see that, you pump in about three quarters of the way, and then you feel the tough edge of the, the head or the tail. And then you grip it. Just grab it firmly, don't grab it too hard because it will break off very tough. And then, once you did that, you can um, put it on your hook, throw it in the water. One of the best baits I know for white stem brass, personally, with all my um, records on this white stem brass. So yeah.